you know, as a, as a creator, and yeah, I, I've thought about this a lot, of <clears> course. <throat> uh, I think the accent definitely enhances the, the comedy. Yep. Uh, I think there are some really, really good lines in there that I wrote. Every video, I sit down with my, my with Evelyn, my, my podcast co-host, and then we, we sit down and actually write some jokes for it. So we actually like, you, you know, we write lines for it. So I think the jokes will work, you know, even without the accent, but the accent just makes it a, a lot funnier. So mm. I think that's point number one we have to, we have to uh, uh, concede to. Mm. Number two, I think... Uh, I, I my con- it passes my it passes my conscience and for you know many reasons I, I put it out there I know you, you you have to do the socially responsible thing right if you do an accent then that you suddenly have to okay make sure that uh, things are above board you're socially responsible I think because of those details and because I'm doing an impression of a character from my life experience and it's detailed it's accurate. Uh, and the fact that it's accurate as evidenced by half my fans being Asians from Asia, mm. you know, they pass on my conscience. That's uh, yeah, that's point number two. And number three, I, I also do get why Asian Americans get nervous. Uh, well, for context, I'm not an Asian American. I'm I'm, I'm a fob essentially. I'm yeah. fob from Asia. <laughs> so I, I I do get why Asians in the Western world get nervous, right? Because you grew up, you know, maybe people yell at you from outside a moving car, and they're like, yeah, Ching Chang Chong, go back to China. So everybody. Has, maybe people have a bit of that. Yeah. So I would say a lot of the comments I see on the Reddit thread where they say, oh, is Uncle Roger racist or is doing an accent racist? A lot of it stems from what I call the white gaze. You know, yes. so I get all yes. academic. But a lot like there's a common sentiment say, oh, when you do an accent, white people are laughing at you, not with you. Yeah. That seems to be a very common sentiment, right? And I, I would say, I would say that's patently untrue nowadays. I think there will definitely be white people who are laughing at you. They'll just go, oh, Chinese man, speak like Chinese. Oh, very funny. <laughs> right? There's definitely going to be a, a, a pe- like people like that, but I think that's a small minority now. And you can see this based on the, if you look at the Jamie Oliver reaction video I made, it's shared on, right now it's on Lad Bible, which is, you know, the, the big uh, aggregator page, right? If you look at the comments there, if someone's laughing at just the Asian guy's accent, then they would, the comments would be like, oh, Ching Chang Chong, Asian guy so funny, China man so yeah, funny. Yeah. You know, it'd be kind of things like that, right? right? But most of the comments are actually people quoting the lines, yes. the jokes I right. have. Like, oh, Mo, you can, like, I have a line in there, so uh, which I think is a pretty solid roast line, even without the accent. It's uh, the, the, Jamie Oliver made the rice, and I say, oh, the rice is so wet, you can see your reflection inside. Like, Mulan's going to start singing <laughs> as she sees <laughs> this rice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right? That's, a, that's a, like a yeah, roast that's battle. Yeah, funny, that's funny. Yeah, that's a, a roast, roast battle line. joke, right? right? You got lines, so yeah. People... People are quoting that line, and people are also laughing at Jamie Oliver. Right. Because right. there are tons of comments saying, yeah, Jamie Oliver's a prick anyway, he did this, and yeah, I always never liked his stuff. So I think sometimes Asian Americans or Asians who grew up or are born in the Western world, they have this, um, this uh, not insecurity, but this, this, this paranoia almost. Yeah. Well, paranoia is too strong a yeah. word, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, they, yeah. This fear of like, oh, man, if they laugh, he must be laughing at me. So there's a little of that white gaze influence worldview. That's point number three. And I think point number four, which is the most important part, I think, I think maybe it's time we need to have a bit more nuance when you look at these things because if you hear someone do an accent and you go, oh no, it's racist. That's the same way of, that's the same thing as hearing someone say the word black in their set and then they go, oh no, it's racist. Mm. So it's, it's the same mechanism involved, right? And when I say nuance, I mean, actually listen to the content of the words I'm saying, you know? I'm saying, I'm championing the Asian cause here. Right, people are white. People be fucking up our food. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also, you can also be racist without doing the accent. You know yes, what I mean? I've seen true. a few Asian comedians who never do the accent, but like they're putting our our people down. I'm like, oh, I I can't watch. I rather you do the accent and be pro Asian. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a great very point. And sound point. white and put Asian people down. That that's even worse, I think. Yeah. And if, if you look at, in turn, from both a social standpoint and a comedic standpoint, from a comedic standpoint, yes, there are some hacky lines in there that are, because I mean, it's, it's an uncle after all, so he's going to make fun of vegans. And ve- making fun of vegans is very uh, 10 years ago now, obviously. Yeah, right, so right, I, right, right. I admit that. But there are also some pretty original topics, original jokes, like, you know, the Mulan one's pretty good. When have you heard a joke about MSG? Yeah, right? uh, I haven't yeah, heard yeah. MSG jokes, induction stove jokes. So that's from a <laughs> comedian <Induction> stove. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're in that line of work, induction Damn, stove. You're comedy. getting in that. You're getting in that. <laughs> stove comedy? Yeah. What? Yeah. 